you know, those sorts of things. So, but if you're in the camp that I'm in now, which has been there, done that, not interested in those things anymore, there's nothing wrong with those things, but they do come at odds with living longer, then it comes down to sort of a framework I think we've discussed before, which is a program that centers around stability, strength, aerobic efficiency, and a little bit of anaerobic performance. Now, I can't tell you what the minimum effective dose is on each of those things, because one, I don't think we know that, but two, it varies by individual. So what I do to scratch those four itches is probably different than what you would need to do if that's the direction you wanted to go down or what the person asking this question would be. But I will say this, having spent a lot of my time doing lots of different types of exercise and pursuing lots of different goals, I've never spent less time exercising than I do now, though it's probably still more than the average person. So I probably spend 10 hours a week exercising in all of the scratching all of those differences, maybe 12. So slightly less than two hours a day. Another principle I think here is try to exercise every single day. You're better off doing a little bit every single day. I find these days I'm kind of lifting five days a week instead of three days a week, but some of those days are really small days, two of those days. So typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be kind of bigger lift days where it's, you know, a 90 minute session today was two hours, but that's a little longer than normal. But Saturday, Sunday, I typically like to combine 45 to 60 minutes of zone two with 30 minutes of some lifting after. And that might just be a set of deadlifts and it might just be a set of sled work, or it might just be farmer carries with rows and some tricep serratus activity or something like that. So it's like, I'm always just trying to do something, but, but again, I'm not killing myself to do this stuff. So the stability stuff I'm going to save for another topic because we're going to have an entire podcast that really goes into that. And I just don't think I can explain stability in a way that does it justice here. So just, I would say you want to carve out a little bit of time every day, call it even 10 minutes per day. And then I typically do a dedicated hour a week on that type of training. I think strength training, you could really efficiently get some good work done three, one hour sessions in a week. The zone two, which we've talked about at length on the podcast with Inigo San Milan, I think the minimum effective dose, if you're starting from nowhere is probably two hours. If you're a reasonable, you have a reasonable base of fitness, probably three hours. And obviously you can go up from there. And I don't think you need a whole heck of a lot of anaerobic work. And I think it's very easy to incorporate into regular activity. So I would say that's sort of the foundation that I would think of for, for exercising towards aging well and being able to physically do the things that matter to you as you get older. That starts to matter. I think once people enter that seventh and eighth decade, if they haven't done a lot of consistent preparatory work in the decades prior, it's alarming how quickly things go south. And that's probably the problem I think most about in my own life is how to mitigate that risk. Okay. 